This chapter covers how to use text and fonts for the screen. We'll explore creating different types of links and inserting text from other programs. Let's get started. Before we can get started, we need to define our chapter. So in our Files view, we're going to choose Manage Sites. I'm going to click on New. This is going to be Chapter 4. And now I need to navigate to that particular chapter. On my desktop and my project files, we're going to click once on Chapter 4. And if you're on a PC, you can also right click and choose Select. We're going to click on Choose. And now we're going to click on Save. And now done. The first file I'd like you to take a look at is fonts.html in your Chapter 4 folder, which again is our root folder. So when we choose fonts for the web, we want to choose fonts that are found on both platforms, on both a Mac and a PC. There are several, but not as many as you'd probably think there are. So we have serif, sans serif, monospace, an italic, and a few webdings and wingdings. So for the serif fonts, we can choose Times, Times New Roman, Georgia, Palatino, and MS Serif. And for the sans serif, we have Arial, Helvetica, Impact, Lucida Sans, which is also a PC font. We have Lucida Grand on the Mac, Tahoma, Trebuchet, Verdana, Geneva is also a Mac font, MS Sans Serif as well. There are also a few monospace, Lucida Console, which is Monaco on the Mac, and also Courier New. There are a few webdings and wingdings, of course, and mentioning fonts for the web wouldn't be complete if I didn't mention Comic Sans. Of course, there are other ways to get the fonts that we want inside of our websites. The at font face rule was proposed in CSS2 and has been implemented in IE since version 5. Amazing, huh? You can find out more about at font face at a list apart. Now we'll take a look at how we can change those fonts inside of Dreamweaver. Instead of going to our CSS, because we haven't gotten to that chapter yet, I'm going to choose my page properties. And in our category for our page font, for where we see our default font, if I click on here and edit my font list, I get a dialog box that pops up that shows me all of the fonts that are my default fonts inside of Dreamweaver. But I can always choose something different. So for instance, maybe I don't like how this is particularly set up, Verdana and Geneva and just a sans serif. Maybe I'd actually like to see that as Verdana, Helvetica, then Arial, and then sans serif. Now you may be asking yourself why we choose that. So what I want is probably Verdana. Now, Verdana is also the most legible font on the web. The characters are a little bit wider than in most fonts, so it's more legible on screen. Serif is the least legible on screen. Just keep that in mind. So I'm going to make my own version of this. So I'm going to keep Verdana in there, but maybe I'm just going to get rid of my sans serif and Geneva for a moment because I can't change the order in which that was in to begin with. So I'm going to choose from my available fonts. I either can scroll along my list or if I know what I want, I can just type it in. So I'll choose Helvetica and then Arial and then I know where my sans serif is at the very bottom and I will add that. So now, instead of just Verdana, Geneva, and a sans serif, I would prefer that they have Verdana. But if they don't have Verdana, I'll take Helvetica. If they don't have Helvetica, I would like Arial. And if they don't have any of those, I'll take any sans serif font. And that's how we can change our font list inside of Dreamweaver CS5. I will click OK, and we'll cancel out of that. Let's go ahead and close up this file before we can get our next one.